Today, I'm going to be conditioning a vintage coach purse. I'm gonna be behind the scenes today. Uh, let's see, it says coach, and this is my friend Larissa's bag. And she picked it up from a swap and sell on Facebook, and she just recently got this one. And recently she was showing me, and I was like, you know what? Those bags need to be conditioned. You can almost see on this side, this one doesn't really need conditioning right here. Uh, it looks quite healthy still. I don't think the sun's dried it out, but then up here you can see all, all of that really, really, really dry leather. And when it comes to something about leather, I'm always like, well, can I make a video out of it? So we're gonna do these two bags today. Pretty simple. I'm using Chamberlain's Leather Milk. There are three um, versions of this. I cannot speak intelligently about two and three, but I've been using this number one on all my leather stuff that ever needs conditioning. Um, and I've had great success. I would say the lighter leathers get a little darker and my leathers that have more of a velvet grade to them, a velvet touch to them, that can go away. So I actually don't condition my leather bags unless they desperately need it or they have rain spots or I'm about to sell it and I want it to be in perfect condition. So here's the back. It smells really good. It smells like cherry almonds to me. And then you use, I have a nice clean buffing pad. My other one was getting pretty dirty. So we're just gonna condition these on camera today. Um, and I'll insert the before pictures and after pictures so you can really see the difference. After you condition a leather bag, it tends to look very dark. And then within an hour or two, it's back to its, maybe longer than an hour or two. Over time, it will come back to its uh, permanent condition. So let me just jump in and do this. I will start with the smaller one here. It has a reddish um, brown look to it. I wonder what it will actually end up looking like once it's conditioned. And if any uh, professional or maybe passionate coach fans are out there, let me know what, what style bags are these? Um, Larissa was saying that they date back, she thinks, to the um, late 80s and I do know that coach had full grain bags back then I think now they use genuine leather okay so I just squirted some on here and I like to just kind of fold it to evenly spread it out have the bag on a flat surface and buff away
move on to this one. What model bag is this? I do not know. Nice full open pocket. Zipper with a zipper pocket inside. I was so excited when I saw that she got this. Because this is such a nice size. Alright, here we go. This is how much transfer came off. Not too bad. Quite a bit. Kind of evenly spread it around. Here we go. Ooh, that feels like too much. Gotta move quick. If ever you get a water stain on your bag, they say you're supposed to put the whole other bag in lukewarm water and um, let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay, this is looking quite crazy. Did I just ruin her bag? I think that those scratches were way deeper and are penetrating the bag in a different way. Um, anyway, so you put it in the water for 10 minutes and it makes the water spot basically become the entire bag. And that makes it unnoticeable because it's no longer just a blaring watermark. I have not had to do that situation, but it's good to know how to care for leather if you got to that. My mindless ramblings. Let's go on to this inside pocket here, right here. Oh, there's so many scratches. You see how dark it gets? 